So they're coming out with a new Transporter movie this weekend, and it doesn't have Jason Statham. I'm staying home today. So I decided to check out this movie today called Paddington. And when I saw the trailer for it a while back, I thought that this was honestly going to be one of those movies that was just dead on arrival. Um, a lot of the jokes in the trailer looked dumb. And uh, when I found out that it was a January release, I just thought to myself, yep, definitely going to skip that one, no doubt about it. But uh, the reason I did watch it is because when the reviews came out, I heard that it was actually pretty, pretty decent. Um, so I checked it out, and it was actually pretty decent. So uh, the setup here is you've got this bear cub who, I won't get into the reasons why, but he needs to go to London to find a new home to live. And he ends up running across this family, and the father in this family tells him that he's going to have to find somewhere else to stay pretty soon because he's not going to keep him in his house. But you, you know where the story is going to go. Um... So, at the beginning of this movie, I thought it started off pretty rocky, to be honest. It felt like it was trying way too hard to be cute, and I just thought I was going to end up hating the film. But, um, after a while, I did start warming up to it. It's essentially just a live-action cartoon. Um, a lot of the characters are very over-the-top, um, and of course there are a lot of unrealistic moments in this movie about Talking Bear. Um... I expected it to be so down to earth, but uh, no, not really. It is actually a pretty fun watch. Uh, it was definitely a lot funnier than I expected. And um, again, the characters in it are pretty silly. Like, the mother in the family is very nice and smiling and friendly. And the father is very stern and protective and paranoid. But uh, my eat. Easily my favorite character, though, is the one that Nicole Kidman plays. She's the main villain of the picture, and she is just so evil and insane that I love it. Um, villains are usually my favorite characters, though. That's honestly not much of a, not much of a surprise. Um, but easily my favorite part about the movie, uh, and I'm going to sound like such a film snob for saying this, but my favorite thing about Paddington was the art direction. Um, the people who made this movie did put a lot of creativity into the visuals and um, the way that they decided to present the story. In particular, there are a couple of scenes involving this dollhouse that I thought were just beautiful to look at and fun to watch. Um... Getting into some of the flaws, though, I did mention that the film started off pretty rocky for me. And I also mentioned that, you know, a lot of the stuff they showed in the trailers looked pretty dumb. And in the movie, um, some of those moments weren't much better. I mean, call me crazy, but I really don't get any joy out of watching someone lick earwax off of a toothbrush. And uh, there's this one scene that just kind of had me looking at the TV like, um, like not necessarily in disgust, but just kind of bewilderment. There's this moment where Paddington is having a difficult time with an escalator, and then like suddenly he has it down pat because he's carrying a dog, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the way that they executed that scene was just really stupid. Um, but overall, it's not a terrible film. Um, it is a pretty enjoyable watch, and I would say that if you're a parent or a babysitter, um, then it would be ideal for, like, a family movie night. But um, it's really, for me personally, it's not worth seeing more than once, and that's all I've got to say about Paddington, so I hope you all have a good one.